So today, what we are going to learn today, we are going to learn how to navigate uh, to a specific, uh, a specific, for example, variable inside a JSON in Ansible register. Okay. So now I'm writing a task to describe an instance. Okay. Describe when I describe an instance, I can get complete metadata of that instance, like instance name, instance tags, instance ID, and instance uh, AMI, how many EBS volumes to that instance, complete, complete metadata of that instance. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to register that output, that JSON output, whenever you run an Ansible task, the task will get you a JSON output, basically. So I'm going to register the entire JSON output to a specific register and I'm going to navigate to a specific variable like a dynamically. Let's say I don't, I don't know the AMI ID, for example, I don't know uh, the instance tag, but I'm going to get it. When I describe that instance, I'm going to get it. I'll show you how to do that for real quick. Okay. So I'm going to specify, I'm going to specify the region. All right, region yes, east. Is that one or two? I can go ahead and I can check. This is Northern Virginia. So which is yes, east one. Let me go ahead and run this playbook again. Okay, so you know, can someone tell me why this guy failed again? unable to locate your credentials you see that so unable to you see that no credentials error border core exemption unable to find the credentials like i'm i'm trying to run this playbook from this controller but this this guy doesn't have access to make an api call to amazon like aws and I get the instance metadata so what i'm going to do right now I'm going to create an IAM user and I'm going to configure access key, secret key on this machine so that Ansible will get authenticated uh, to Amazon API uh, to describe that instance. Does that make sense? Are you guys with me? Yes, we should. Okay, I can go to IAM. So what permission should I, should I give this specific user actually? Easy to full access. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I have a user already. Let me go get that user. EC2 user, let me click on that. This guy belongs to EC2 group. And let's see whether that EC2 group has. Okay, I am changing the password. Okay, easy to full access. This guy has that easy to full access okay now let's go create a key let's try to create a key okay let me okay i'm gonna what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy that access key right now i'm going to configure it And figure it. So I'm going to provide that access key. Now I'm going to go grab that secret key. I'm going to grab that secret key as well. Yeah, the, the region, all that kind of stuff I already outputted inside that playbook. That's fine. Now let me go ahead and run this playbook again and let's see. Now, you see that? So now, this is the instance metadata. You see that this is an instance security group and this is a network interface of that specific instance. And uh, this is a volume ID of that instance. Like, I have everything. I have a complete instance metadata. You see that what type of instance is this? T2.micro. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna register this entire output of that 
a specific task to a specific register. Okay. So how I'm going to do that is I will add simply, I will add a register to that task. That's it. Very simple. So that register, it doesn't belongs to a specific module. Okay. It's not like a, it, it, it belongs to a complete task actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to register to EC2 something output, whatever. This is a, this is a variable. You can give any name. Okay. Now, now, now I have that register. I just wanted to make sure I will add simple debug statement to make sure that that register has everything for that instance, basically. Okay. Name, add some debug statement. Okay. Debug statement. I will add debug statement. Then debug is a module. Debug is a module and I'll just put simple message and I will add variable. This is variable, right? We don't know that output of that register, right? And that can be variable because we don't know that. We don't know until the task has been executed. Once the task has been executed, then you will know, right? But you don't know that. But still you want to pass that output to your next task, but you don't know that, right? Let's let's see the magic. It is very simple. Let's go ahead and run this playbook again. <clears throat> so we should see the output. You see that add some debug statement. So that debug statement has a complete output of that instance metadata. Okay, now I want to print, for example, I want to print instance ID from here. Okay. I want to print instance ID from here. The way you should do it, okay, the way you should do it, let me go ahead and add a task to print the instance, instance ID, okay? What I will do, I will grab this. I will grab this instances, you see that from here? This open bracket, right? This is where actual output will start. This open bracket, right? You see that open bracket? This is the place where actual output starts actually. Under this open bracket, you see that these are all belongs to the same umbrella. Like these columns all belongs to the same umbrella. You see that all of this belongs to that, that instances basically, okay? And let me go, let me see, it's very simple. This is very simple. For that, what I will do, I can just simply copy these instances Okay, copy instances. And I can go ahead and describe ec2.yaml. In the next task, I'll simply print instance instance ID, that's what we are trying to do, right? I'll add a simple debug statement and I'll do message. How I'm gonna do that is, first things first, I'm gonna use this register first, right? Okay, let's go to EC2 underscore, EC2 underscore output that this register, this is the first variable dot and these are the instances and uh, and what we are trying to print we are trying to print instance id right so where is that instance id let's go ahead and grab that instance id we are not getting that instance id we are getting the variable, the tag, like the key of that instance. We are not, we are not printing this because we don't know this. Okay, so let's go grab this, and uh, let me add that to here. So. 
let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so the instance ID is the list object has no attribute called instance ID. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Let's let's see what we need to do. We need to specify. Okay, this instance ID inside instances is a zeroth element. Go to this this specific instances output. Then just look for the first instance ID and that specific output. That means this is a, if you have a list with a zero, that means list a zeroth element, zeroth element. That means the first element. Okay. When you see the first element as an instance ID, print that first element of the instance ID. Let's go ahead and grab, let's go ahead and run this again. You see that only instance ID, we have got only instance ID. Now, what I will do, what I will do now, I don't, I didn't know instance ID earlier, but now I know instance ID. What I will do, I can, I can create a dynamic variable instance something, I can call something instance or uh, easy to ID or something like that. I don't know the instance ID earlier, right? What I will do, I can just simply magic variable, use magic variable set fact. Now I wanna, I wanna, uh, for example, let's say, I wanna add a tag to that instance ID, right? I wanna add a tag. What module should I use? Name, add tags to easy to. Okay, what module should I use to add a tag? Add tag. Easy to underscore tag. Uh, right? Easy to underscore tag, and I would have to provide resource ID, right? Resource or resource ID? What I would do, I can go, I don't use the own whatever, but I can go ahead and grab the details, right? I can go, I can just simply go there and I grab those details. Okay, I, I would need to provide region, resource, tag, present, whatever. Let me grab, let me grab this and I can provide those details right here, then I will make sure that I will use the indentation, right? And let's let's provide that resource ID later. Let me fix this indentation first. Okay. Those belongs to that PC, right? And I need to make sure they are inside that. <laughs> I don't know what that Uber wall, but I can change it to Ansible base or something like that. Ansible base image or something like that. Okay, and this is a part. Just right there. Okay. Now the resource ID is a tricky part. We don't know the resource ID, right? You don't know the resource ID until you get your output in the first task. But after you have your resource ID and everything, but you are not gonna go back and get that resource ID every time, right? What you can do, since it's a variable, dynamically you can pass that variable. This is the variable ID. This is a variable basically, okay? You can pass that variable right here. So whatever, you don't know instance ID. You don't have to know instance ID. This will print instance ID and you will be passing that variable as a resource to this add tags. And then let's go ahead and run this playbook and let's see what happens. Okay, something is missing. 
EC2 tag module requires a region. Okay. So what should I do here, Ramya? Can you can you help me? What should I do? Just add the region to the code. Okay. Let's go ahead and add the region to the code. Yes, East one, right? That's the Northern Virginia, yes, East one. Okay, let me go ahead and run this playbook again. Let's go ahead and verify whether those tags has been added to our instance or not, okay? What I will do, I can just simply go to easy to dashboard. Can simply go there, PC2 dashboard, and you see that Ansible base. If I go to tags, I have two name Ansible base and ELV dev. Are you guys with me? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cap this guy and I'm gonna share this inside a chart so you guys can save it. Any questions? Any questions, Ramya? How to parse? Parse. This is called parsing a variable. Like you don't know the variable, but you still can do it, right? Let's say I wanna tag the EBS simple. So now, and now I need help, okay? Now I want to tag the EBS volumes as well. Okay. Can someone help me? Can someone help me? What module should I use to tag EBS volumes? First things first. Okay. Any any for any AWS resources, this is the module. Okay you're changing the resource id instead now you have instance id but you're changing to ebs volume id that's it add tags to ebs volumes right and same ec2 tag right and a resource is that spelling right this can be, this is a variable. We don't know that, we don't know that uh, uh, EBS volume ID, right? We don't know that yet, but we are gonna find out. And region ES list one. And what else? We're gonna provide the state present. And the tags, I would do name available, something like that. Uh, is it a capital N Vishnu name or anything? Uh, it can be anything, it's just a tag. Basically, oh. it's, a, it's a key. Okay, Basically. so it's a case sensitive, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It's, it's just a, you can add capital N or small n in the tags, right? Okay. Now I need to I need to identify the resource, right? We don't know that resource yet, but how I'm gonna get it? I'm gonna get that resource ID from from this output, JSON output. So this is the volume ID. We are trying to update tags to the volumes, right? And this is the volume ID. Oh, now this is tricky. So I need to provide this and inside that. I have this, okay? And inside that, I have, actually inside that I have this, and inside that I have this. Oh, this is tricky. This is this is interesting. Let's, let's go and let's see how we can do that. So the first thing is let's provide this. 
okay what i'm gonna do actually you know what yeah that's okay let's go here first things first first is till here the same thing okay i can go ahead and uh, use that uh vishnu open the other tab and in that other tab you can open the file that will be more easy for you right to copy the text that's that's true and i'm going to use dot next that's true but this is a uh this is a what is this? this is a terminal right i would need to connect to that instance again from different place actually and i cannot see that output because i ran this here so that i can see that output and the next one at this right block device mappings okay and then let's go provide the block device mapping and zero at element in that block device mapping right and ebs dot volume let's see whether it's going to work or not ebs dot volume id right how i can say ebs dot volume id because so we have we have a block device mappings inside a block device mappings you have a ebs then volume id let's go grab this one and let's try to provide this here okay and let's run this playbook okay let's go check this resource id right and go back to aws go back there where is it ebs volume set right? that's what we are trying to do let's go ebs volume if you check the tags you see that mrs man name is available are you guys with me yes vishnu 